Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita, Bliss with Pastor Honorin. I want us today to look at the paradox of marriage, the contradictory statements that we find in marriage. There are quite a number of them. The first of them is that the basics for marriage is purpose. As a matter of fact, what you should consider more important than love. Love is important, quite all right. But more important than love in marriage is purpose. Is the alignment of purpose. But the paradox in it is marriage is the reason why many people are out of purpose. There are many people that were, their lives were, were on the right track. They were already in purpose until they got married and everything stopped. Everything went the other way. Every, everything went sad. They were compelled to have to drop what they were doing. To have to drop their purpose. So purpose which is supposed to be the basics for marriage. The paradox is that marriage also. Marriage has become one of the main reasons why many people don't fulfill purpose. You see a lady who was going to school, hoping to get their, their, their master's degree or PhD and then pursue something and pursue a career until they got married. They had everything planned out until they got married. The second paradox of marriage is that marriage can make you so, so, so happy. And at the same time, marriage is the pain, is the number one cause of pain and hurt in many people. There are many people who have had to live in depression or com worst case scenario, commit suicide because of failed marriages. Another para the third paradox is that marriage can bring out the best in you. At the same time, it can bring out the worst in you. You never knew how strong you were until you got married. You never knew how, how good you were, how hardworking you were, how selfless you were until you got married. At the same time, you never knew how wicked you were until that marriage went sad. Until the marriage stopped working, until things became hard, until that marriage went through a season of a stormy season. You never knew you were that wicked, you were that. So marriage has that paradox. It can bring out the best in you when everything is going on well. There are men who were good men. Calm and nice men, until they got married, they became very abusive. You never knew how abusive you were. You never knew how violent you were until you got married. So marriage can bring out the angel in you. And it can also bring out the beast in you. Before we get to the fourth point, please... If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me the favor and click on that subscription button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. Every time we are live, you will be notified. Thank you. The fourth point, which is very important. Most single people want to get married desperately and they think their problems will finish the moment they get married. They, feel, they think their lives will be complete. They will be whole the moment they get married. The paradox is that for you to be married and have a blissful and a successful marriage, you've got to exhaust your singlehood. You know why? Because the word single actually means whole. It means complete. It means not broken not shaken. So you need to get to that state of wholeness, to that state of being happy while you are single before you get married. So the paradox is many people want to get married desperately because they feel like they will be happy when they are married. They feel like they will be whole and complete when they are married. The paradox is you are supposed to be whole and complete and happy while single. 
That is what guarantees that you'll be complete and whole and happy when you are married. Another paradox is that almost everyone wants to get married as soon as possible. Everyone thinks they are ready for marriage. But very few are actually prepared for it. So the paradox in it is, instead of preparing for it, we are looking, we are, we are fighting to get into it. And then when you are in it, that's when you start realizing that you needed to prepare for it before getting into it. So when you are in it now, we start fighting to get out of it. So instead of preparing, we are fighting to get into it. And when we are in it, instead of enjoying it and staying there, we are fighting to get out of it. Because that's when the reality of how unprepared you were dawns on you. The paradox of marriage. Another paradox of marriage is that we get into it for the better. But we stay in it. The moment you are inside now is for better for us. Before you choose a kingdom spouse, the reason why you accept to marry them is because you have, you, you, you have been happy with them. It's because you see your life with them like a happy life. You see attributes in them that you love. You love them. You love the attributes that you see. You love what they have been doing. And because you see things that you love and you would, that's what attracts you to even say yes to a marriage proposal, to even think of getting married to someone because you saw the things that you love, you saw the things that made you happy. Paradox is the moment you are in it, it is for better for us. The things that make you happy and the things that make you sad, you are supposed to stay there. So you get into it for better, you stay there for better for us. You get into it for better, but you are not expected to leave because the better disappeared. You are expected to work it out. You are expected to make it work. And the worst most often comes shows up when you are already in it. Because if you saw the worst, you won't accept to go into it. So the moment you get into it, that's when the, the worst shows its face. And I, I, I kept the best for the last. Marriage is the number one source of happiness and love and joy. But also, when things don't go right, it becomes the number one killer of love and happiness and joy. As a matter of fact, we marry because we love that person so much. You get married to them because you love them so much. You get married to them because you love them to the extent that you choose them. You want to spend the rest of, their, of your life with them. The moment you are in it, you start experiencing some things. You start seeing some things that make you want to leave that place. That you experience things that kill the love that you had. When you are outside, you want to wake up every day next to that person. When you are inside, because you love them so much, when you are inside, there are days that you just want to wake up and not see that person's face. Maybe because they hurt you. Maybe because they, 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 the marriage is going through a stormy season and you can't bear it. There are seasons that you see couples live in separate rooms. There are sometimes that couples actually pack. You see one of the couples pack their things and leave. Once upon a time, you were doing everything possible to get into that house, to wake up next to that person. But before you know it, you are in the house, you are waking up next to them, but the last thing you want to see is their face. The paradox of marriage. I hope this enlightened someone. I hope this blessed someone. I hope this gave you a better understanding of marriage. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.